Welcome to this web lecture on multimodal transport, the definitions. So we're first going to look into some definitions of multimodal transport and some special cases. And consecutively, we're going to apply these definitions in an example. Of course, the first definition that we should look at is multimodal transport. And luckily, the UN provided us with a definition that we can work with. The UN states that multimodal transport means the carriage of goods by at least two different transport modes on the basis of a multimodal transport contract from a place at which the goods are taken in charge by the multimodal transport operator to a place designated for delivery. So if we dissect this definition, we see two important points. First of all, we use multiple different transport modes, so only going by truck does not qualify. And secondly, we have a single operator that handles this entire chain. We, if we look at one special case of multimodal transport, we find intermodal transport. Intermodal tra modal transport means the movements of good in one and the same loading unit or vehicle, which uses successively two or more modes of transport without handling the goods themselves and changing those modes. And that is a definition given to us by the EU via the European Conference of Ministers of Transport. So if we look at this, we first of all see that we actually fulfill all criteria for multimodal transport. And secondly, we see that the key requirement is that we do not handle goods between legs. So we can see this entire thing as a direct connection in the logistics chain. And the way that we handle this is oftentimes, not always, using containerized transport. So, for example, you load a lot of clothes into a container in uh, China. You ship this container by truck, then by container vessel, and then by train to somewhere in Europe. And then somewhere in Europe, you open up this container again, and, but you never actually have to handle the clothes, so the products that are being shipped. So now let's look into a few examples to make this a little bit clearer. So the first thing that we can look at is unimodal transport, which just means not multimodal. And if something is not multimodal, we're clearly always using exactly the same transport mode. And we might have multiple different things that we throw in this truck. If we have intermodal transport, we just load a container onto a truck, then we load a container onto a train, and then um, these goods are finally being transported by a bike. But we never ever handle the goods themselves. If we have multimodal but not intermodal transport, then we have, for example, we have very small, uh, small boxes in which we store those clothing. And these, clo these boxes we once have in this container, then we have them in this container, then we directly throw them into the train, and at the end, the bike actually transports them directly. And that is something we refer to multimodal, but not intermodal transport. We can also look at that using an example that we have, we'll actually see coming over and over throughout this uh, series of web lectures. And this is the intermodal, inter, international transport example of the high-tech company Lithography SE. Lithography SE is located in the vicinity of Eindhoven but they have suppliers in mainland China and now consider how to move uh, shipments to their main production facility near Eindhoven. So from the suppliers in China to the production facility in the Netherlands. They can ask multiple different questions. So does it make sense for Lithography SE to source from China or should they actually source from closer by? Is it better for Lithography SE to ship themselves or to ask their suppliers to deliver those goods? And how should lithography SE move those shipments? So let's look into their entire production chain or the entire logistics chain. So they have their supplier over here and they have their own production facility over there. And somehow they would like to move goods along here. So first, they're actually going to move the goods from the Chinese hinterland to a port city, for example, Shenzhen. From Shenzhen, they're then going to transport it to a major city in Europe, for example, Rotterdam. And from Rotterdam, they're then going to transport those goods, maybe first to Eindhoven, and then from Eindhoven to the actual uh, production facility of Lithography SE. And that just gives them the entire chain. 
And then, of course, we can ask what kind of modes do we see where? And if we ask this question, we can, of course, also look at how does a unimodal, how does an intermodal, and how does a multimodal transport chain for lithography SE look like if we use this example? And this is something that I would like you to work on. What I would like you to take away from this uh, introductory web lecture on multimodal transport and the definitions is the definition of multimodal transport, the definition of intermodal transport, and also the lithography SE example. Thank you very much.